Hello YouTube, what's up? This is the cool guy one one. I am currently uploading another video right now. Um so this video is very short. It's not gonna be of any games or anything, so if you're looking for that, leave. This is about me showing the setup, the custom macro button setup of my Logitech G six hundred MMO gaming mouse. If you uh, if you guys have do have to download the Logitech gaming software um, I'll put a link in the description to download that. Basically, what you do is when you open this up, you get a whole bunch, a whole complicated web page on here, and I'm basically here to show you guys how to use this. So, first of all, you have two options, and these are the first things you need to decide between. One, you can have G the D600 onboard memory, and just set up one layout of these buttons and these buttons. And obviously, and obviously this button back here and stuff, and it'll stay like that for anything you do. Okay, so it, if you assign this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then it'll then those buttons will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for anything you do. Okay, the ne the other thing you could do is slide this thing to, uh, on the other side, and it'll do automatic game detection. Basically, what this is, is it does take up a tiny bit of your hard drive space, and it saves individual custom profiles for each individual game. So, let's hit, say you're playing Minecraft, okay? You want to have a separate layout for Minecraft than you want to have for Borderlands 2, or for Gary's Mod. Let's say, so you would go in here, you would select Minecraft, you would do your layout, okay, and then you would select another game and do your layout, and that way, whenever, uh, every every time you would launch a different game, it would automatically switch to that setup. So that's the first thing you gotta do, guys are gonna do, and um, I'm not really gonna. I I just showed you how to how to customize the automatic game detection setting. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did on the G600 onboard memory. I did this because I just don't really have the time, and I don't really need a whole different kind of setup for all the games. All the games usually use the same kind of setup. So first of all, you have here. Here's the home where you just select these two things. You're going to want to click down here. Now this is where you can set up the different buttons. And the way this works is it's a little complicated in f uh, at first, but... It, it it's not as complicated once you get used to it. So this up here lets you can set all twelve of these th side thumb buttons. The way you do that is, the, you, let's say you want to customize this button, you click this little arrow, you click edit, and then you can either choose a mouse function, a keystroke, or you can click on this and then tap the key that you want it to do. So this I have set to one, and you're gonna want to click OK, okay. And that's basically how to do this. I have to go in here, push this, and do two. You can always do clear. You don't do backspace because when you do backspace, it does that. Yeah. So two. And I basically did it all for that. Um, over here is the same thing. The G shift. A lot of people are kind of confused about this. Basically, what the G shift is, you can assign it to any button, to any of these buttons. Okay. Uh, basically, what it does is when while you're holding down whatever button you assign to G Shift, it, it's basically like 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 a second toggle. Okay, it's like an alternate assignment. So here's your no here's my normal setup, and when I switch over to G Shift setup, th it changes to all the F keys. So that means when when I'm not holding down the G Shift button, and I push one of the thumb buttons, it will just do one two three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, control, E, or tab. But when I am holding down the G shift button, which I have assigned to this button right here, you can choose whatever button you want. Um, when, when I am holding down the G shift button, and I push this button, it'll be F1. And then right and then right when you let go, it'll switch back to here. Now the other thing I have find that people are a lot, uh, that a lot of people are confused about is the DP is the, the 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 third button, like the DPI shifting. Basically, guys, you can assign. Uh, I I would recommend if you play any first-person shooters or any kind of thing like that, or have a hard time 
aiming or whatever with a, a, a mouse at, at regular sensitivity, you can assign this little third button to, D, to DPI shift. DPI is the sensitivity speed of your mouse. When, and when I'm holding down, look, uh, so basically this is me just moving my mouse around. Now this is me holding down the GPI shift button. See, it goes a lot smaller. I'm moving my hand around a ton more. And when I let go again, it's going crazy again. So basically, whenever you put, whenever you hold down the GPI shift button, it lowers it a lot. And there's, a, there is a way to customize how, how much it lowers it to right here in this next tab. You can choose DPI sensitivity levels. If you want to have uh, two, it work. You, you want to have two if you're gonna go with the DPI shift, because that just toggles that like just like switches it between and that's done. Nice. Uh, let's close that. No. All right. And so, um, yeah. If you want to have, let's say you want to have three levels, then you could. Oh, that, that's, that's really high. Um, yeah. Then you would go back here, click this, edit, and you do DPI. Hmm. You, hmm. That, that's actually interesting. I don't think you can have three, just toggle three at once. So that's interesting, guys. I actually didn't know that. Um, okay. So, that's all, that's all right. So, erase what I just said. Uh, yeah. Toggle. Uh, you can also, as you can see, this little diagram, when I'm holding down the button, it toggles it. And this, I assign to shift. And this, I assign to default. You can adjust these, turn these up. This is the sensitivity that I found that I like. Well, maybe I'll go with this. Maybe for this, I'll go like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I like that. And this, a polling rate for your mouse, the reports p per second. Basically, 125 is gonna be really bad, and 1,000 is gonna be really good. Okay, that that you don't need to worry about that. And finally, the last setting is I think the coolest setting, the lighting. Basically, you can choose any color of the rainbow, with any kind of brightness. Uh, I wish I could show you guys what the mouse looks like right now. Um, oh God, I did something. Um, oh right, I turned the color off. Um, question mark? Question mark? Um, go on. Blue. God, donut. Um, there we go. Okay, that was a little bug or something. So this turns up the brightness of the mouse, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now, now it's doing it. So it turns up the brightness of the lights. Uh, you want, I want a hundred. It's pretty cool. And this controls the color. And I just, sorry. You know, so I'm just staring at my mouse, messing around with it. It's hilarious. So, and then I'm going to put it back. I like this mode because it matches my, it, it, or it matches my, like, desktop color. Right now I don't have the desktop on, but it matches my desktop color. And it also matches my Razer Black Widow Elite Ultimate Gaming uh, keyboard. Mechanical, which I am getting for my birthday, and I like this color. You can also do lighting effects. Pulse lighting is basically where the light flash like comes in and out, it, like dims and then brightens again, and you can change the speed on that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see now it's going really fast. The, also, the light cycling is just where it cycles through all the colors. That's so crazy fast. God, I don't like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And that's basically really all you need. The G600 onboard memory is a lot, does take a lot longer because you have to customize the setup for for every button, like for each game. So, not gonna do that. So, um, yeah. If, yeah. The settings over here, you can change a little bit. Uh, I actually do not need that. Um,. Yeah, so and you can do this elimination angle snapping profile. It's for the games. It's for the games. That's for the games. So yeah, guys, this has been a t the cool guy one one with the tutorial on the Logitech 
G uh, Logitech Gaming uh, G600 Gaming Mouse uh, software programming all the keys and the colors and all that the sensitivity and all that so sorry hit the mic um so guys i'll see you later bye bye